Imagine getting to LA from New York in a blink of an eye. Imagine never getting late to work or missing your favorite band performing live. Now you don't have to wait to meet your loved ones. This is the realm of teleportation, humanity's long cherished dream. The idea of instantaneously moving from one point to another has tantalized our imagination for generations. But can this fantastical notion become a reality? Let's uncover the intricacies of teleportation and uncover the scientific theories and challenges behind it. Teleportation, popularized in science fiction, envisions vanishing from one location and reappearing in another in the blink of an eye. From the iconic transporters in Star Trek to various other depictions in media, it's a concept that has permeated our culture's imagination. However, teleportation in the real world involves complexities far beyond what movies portray. In the realm of quantum physics, there's a phenomenon known as quantum teleportation. This phenomenon demonstrates the transfer of the state of one particle to another distant particle. While this has been successfully achieved in controlled laboratory settings with individual particles, teleporting larger objects or living beings presents an entirely different set of challenges. One of the fundamental concepts underpinning teleportation is quantum entanglement. This phenomenon allows particles to become interconnected where the state of one particle instantaneously influences the other, irrespective of the distance between them. Utilizing this for teleporting macroscopic objects or individuals remains a theoretical challenge due to the complexities of maintaining entangled states over long distances. The primary hurdles in achieving teleportation on a larger scale are monumental. One major obstacle involves the immense amount of data required to represent the precise state of an object or a person at the quantum level. Transferring this data accurately without losing crucial information poses a significant technical challenge. Some theories explore the idea of destructive teleportation, where an object is scanned, disassembled at the atomic level, and reconstructed at the destination. Well, that sounds scary. It's like getting killed at one end and getting reborn at other. I'm glad it's only a theory for now. But if data is being transferred from particle to particle, it's technically not the same particle on the other side, it's the copy of data that is transferred to other particle. This raises profound ethical considerations associated with teleportation, especially concerning personal identity. If a person is teleported, is it genuinely the same individual at the destination, or is it just an exact copy? These philosophical and ethical queries surrounding teleportation raise profound questions about consciousness and existence. Let's assume person at location A is teleported to location B, or to be exact, the copy of humongous data of that person is teleported to the particles present at location B so that they can replicate the exact state of that person's particle, presenting us with a copy of that person at location B. But what about the consciousness? Will we get the empty shell on other side? Will that person even be alive? Well, that sounds kind of scary. Well, moving on. Beyond quantum teleportation, various theoretical frameworks propose alternative approaches. Some theories delve into wormholes, hypothetical tunnels in space-time that could potentially connect distant points. However, the existence of traversable wormholes remains purely theoretical, and their stability and practicality for teleportation are still under scrutiny. The idea of bending space involves manipulating the fabric of space-time itself. By altering the space around an object, theoretically, one could reduce the distance between two points, allowing for seemingly instantaneous travel. Imagine a paper with two points on each ends. The shortest distance possible between these two points will be a straight line, but if we fold the paper to make those two points overlap, we can instantly get to other point without that straight line. That's what wormhole does. If one day traversable wormholes are discovered, they could potentially revolutionize our understanding of space travel, making distant cosmic journeys feasible. Bending space 
as envisioned in theories like Einstein's general relativity, requires tremendous energy and technology far beyond our current capabilities. It's estimated that it would take more energy to teleport a person than it would to launch a space shuttle. While these concepts are tantalizing, practical implementation remains a distant goal. Another challenge is that teleportation would require a very precise understanding of the laws of physics. We still don't fully understand how gravity works, for example, and this could make it difficult to control the teleportation process. Finally, there are a number of other concerns that would need to be addressed before teleportation could be used on a regular basis. For example, what would happen if someone was accidentally teleported into a wall or another object? But despite all the challenges, scientists continue to push the boundaries of teleportation. Research in quantum computing and information transfer has made significant strides. Notably, scientists have successfully teleported information encoded in particles over considerable distances. While this achievement is impressive, teleporting complex objects or living beings remains a distant goal. Currently, teleportation remains confined to the realm of science fiction. If humanity could one day achieve the teleportation, what would world look like? Will there be a need for transportation? What about space exploration? How far will we reach without the spaceships? Imagine a world where you don't have to worry about getting late to work due to traffic or to wait in large queues, and you don't have to wait long to meet your loved ones. That's just to scratch the surface. There is far more humanity could achieve if we can one day teleport. Until next time, Beyonders,